Welcome to another episode of Showroom Steals, where we'll break down the latest trends and show you how to get a showroom-inspired look for less. Today's episode is all about tackling those unused spaces in your home and making them work for you. And we're not just talking about a spare bedroom. We're focusing on all the unexpected and often overlooked areas like the nook in your dining room or the space underneath your stairs. We'll show you how to turn those unique spaces into something fresh, stylish, and functional. And be sure to stick around to see how we've built a custom beverage center that your whole family can enjoy. We all have those spots in our house that we're just not quite sure what to do with. These small spaces can actually make a huge difference in the functionality of your home. So once you've found an unused space in your house, try to think of something you're lacking. It can be something you need or just something you've always wanted to have. This is where you're gonna to need to think outside the box a little. Is your dog's bed always in the way? Turn the area under your stairs into a place to tuck away their bed, food, and water. Or perhaps you have dreams of having your own wine cellar, but don't have the square footage or the budget to make it a reality. Could creating your own beverage center do the trick? Incorporating a small cooler and wine storage gives off the same vibe for a lot less. Building your own beverage center is easy and will add character and functionality to an otherwise unused space in your house. It'll instantly elevate movie nights, get-togethers with friends, and anytime you need a drink. Did you know that Lowe sells these too? You can literally get everything you need for this project in one stop. Take a close look at the features of the coolers. Some offer things like dual zones, so all your beverages can stay at their ideal temperatures, interior lights so you can see exactly what's inside, and pull-out racks for easier access. Once you've decided on one, subtract the width of the cooler from the overall space to find out how much room you have left for cabinets. Lowe's has finished and unfinished pre-built cabinets in a variety of widths. To make this project easier, choose from a wide selection of finished cabinets so you don't have to deal with sanding, priming, and painting. Choose from neutrals like white, gray, and wood tones, or choose fun colors like dark blue or even a trendy sage green. It all depends on the look you're going for. Mix and match to find the configuration that's best for your space. Bold cabinets will make your beverage center stand out, or opt for a neutral tone to make it blend in. We're going with a timeless white cabinet, but whatever you choose is going to look great. Now that you have the cabinets, it's time to install them. Start by removing the doors and any drawers. This will make the cabinets lighter and easier to maneuver into place. Even though we're dealing with base cabinets here, it's still important that we're properly securing them into the studs in the wall. Use a stud finder to locate and mark the studs. Measure the distance between each stud and transfer the measurements to the back wall of the cabinet. This is where you'll drill through the cabinet and into the stud, which will hold everything into place. Now it's time to add a countertop. Lowe's has tons of stock countertops in butcher block and laminate. Of course, if you need a custom size, Lowe's can handle that too. A slab of butcher block will instantly warm up your space. Be sure to read up on the care instructions, especially if you have small children, since it can get dented, stained, and scratched. It's easy enough to sand and refinish down the line. An alternative to butcher block is laminate. It's sturdy, affordable, and pretty easy to install yourself. Laminate has come a long way and is available in a ton of stylish finishes that mimic granite and marble in both light and dark tones. Once you have the countertop, place it on top of your base cabinets to check the fit. Then, remove the countertop and apply a bead of caulking or construction adhesive to the top of your base cabinets. Place the countertop back on top of the cabinet and let it dry for a full 24 hours. While that's drying, let's talk about shelves. I picked up these floating shelves at Lowe's, which will add storage without the visual clutter the brackets can add in such a small space. The shelves came with all the hardware and screws included, which made for an easy installation. These shelves are the perfect place to store everything your family needs for the beverage center. And it's as simple as that. Leave us a comment to tell us which unused space you plan to transform in your house, and be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. Join us next time to see us make a space that your kids will love.